Hello everyone, David Lee here back with another video on a project-based learning and design thinking project. I really hope you enjoy it. For this project, our kindergarten students were provided with the following scenario. Farmers are having trouble growing their crops during the cold winter months. They have hired engineers to create a structure that would help them to plant crops during the winter. The engineers will need to empathize with the farmers and understand the science behind growing crops, the weather effects in farming, and the important role of farmers in the community. For their entry event, we showed them a video that introduced the scenario, explained the needs explain the need of the farmers and the driving question. The entry event should catch the interest of your students about the specific topic. The following is the driving question we introduced to the students. How can we as engineers help farmers grow crops for the local neighborhood during the winter months? The driving question is a clear and intriguing question that gives a sense of what the project is all about. It should be connected to an instructional goal and helps drive exploration. The project integrated multiple subject areas. To answer the driving question, students read books about farms, the weather, and the interdependence of local neighborhoods. In science, they learned about the effects of sunlight, structures that reduce the warming effect, and local weather conditions and forecasting. Here are some learning activities done in science. In social studies, they learned how to work together as a community to solve problems. For engineering, students learned to use tools and materials to design and build a structure, applied engineering practices, and tested out their structures. We hope to include writing by having students write a step-by-step -step book on the heat energy flow from the sun to the plants. Students use the design thinking process to create their structures. In the empathize stage, Students gained a deep understanding of the farmers they were helping, their situation, and work. The students also visited the middle school's greenhouse to learn how plants are kept warm. After describing the problem sentence in the define stage, the kindergartners brainstorm visual solutions of their greenhouse and receive feedback from the teachers and their peers during the ID8 stage. They then start to create their structures in the prototype stage and tested them with plants and thermometers to see if the temperature inside their structure was warmer than the temperature outside of it. It is important to note that the design thinking process is not linear. Students can jump around from one stage to another at any point based on what is needed to create a quality solution. The next time we implement this project, we hope to incorporate more mathematical concepts as well as invite local farmers in the community to participate and provide valuable technical feedback. Ultimately, our kindergartners presented their work at the Elementary Expo, a venue where families, students, teachers, administrators, and community members can come and see the learning, innovation, and experimentation that takes place in the classroom. Well, that wraps up the summary video. Hope it has given you a glimpse of what is possible when incorporating project-based learning and design thinking into the classroom. I would like to give a special thanks to the following for making this project happen. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you would enjoy content similar to this. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you would enjoy content similar to this. Check out the description for more links and of course thank you so much for watching. See you next time.